Hi, and welcome to Psychology. Psychology is one of the A-levels that is run through the Humanities Department and overall nationally it's one of the most um, popular subjects at A-level and that is reflected in numbers of students who come to study psychology with us in Gosford. It's one of our successful subjects with students consistently passing at high grades. So, if you're interested in wanting to know what makes you tick, what makes people behave in the way they do, why do some people become aggressive, why do some people develop mental disorders, then psychology is probably the course for you. So here at Gosford we follow the AQA course and the AQA course is probably the most popular course running in the UK. It offers a wide range of topics, so it gives you, as a student, a really broad understanding of psychology, sort of dipping into a lot of the different areas within psychology. So if you do want to choose to do a psychology degree later, or a degree mixed with psychology, you're going to have a really, really good foundation. So areas of topics include things like social influence. So we do, in Year 12, social influence, we look at what it is about your friends, the people around you, about society, how they shape the way in which you behave. How does it influence you? Why do some people make huge gestures such as Martin Luther King or Rosa Parks and go against what were normal social behaviours to stand up for the rights of others? We look at why do things like genocide such as the Holocaust happen? What makes a person do something evil? So that's social psychology, but we'll also look at things like memory and we'll apply it to the real world. Why do we still use eyewitness testimony, for example, in courts, especially when research is showing that it isn't that reliable? So we look at eyewitness testimony, we look at why we forget, we look at how your memory works. How is it that you can still remember something from your childhood but you can't remember the GCSE maths equations, for example, which I'm guessing is happening now. And then we go on to do a little bit of research methods. A lot of people don't realise, but psychology is also a research subject. And so we look at how psychologists carry out research and we look at famous examples of them throughout. We also look at psychopathology, and that's probably the most um, popular subject. And that's the one where we look at why are some people seen as functioning normally, but others aren't. And what is it that affects them? Is it the environment around them, the way they've been brought up, or is it their change in the structure in their brain? So we look at that by studying things like depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and anxiety. And we look at how we can explain those happening in some people, but not others, and what treatments we can offer to help people with these disorders. So that's your year 12. In year 13, we'll go on to do other range of topics, including the issues and debates, the big arguments, if you like, in psychology. So we look at how influential the genetics are that you get from your parents, so your nature, versus how influential the environment is, our societies, our religion, our culture, and that's nurture. We look at the differences in the way genders behave, we look at gender issues, we look at explaining psychology in terms of a holistic viewpoint, or we look at how the brain itself affects the way in which we behave. So we look at lots of issues and debates, but then we also go on to apply those to other topic areas. So, for example, we focus on schizophrenia and we look at the symptoms of schizophrenia. We look at how we can treat people with schizophrenia. We look at the effects it has, the huge debilitating effects it has on both the patient themselves and on their families. And then we go on to look at relationships. Why do we need to form relationships? Why are they so important to us? What happens when they go wrong? What is it that causes a relationship to go wrong? And how do we deal with those relationships when they do break down? And finally, we look at aggression. 
why do some people react in an aggressive fashion to the same stimulus that all of us do? What causes some people to go out and commit really aggressive acts? Um, so again, we'll be focused on, on how to explain it, how to understand it and how to treat it. So there's a wide range of topics that give you a really good broad understanding of psychology. So, as we said, psychology is the study of the mind and how it affects your behaviour and that's what you'll be predominantly studying throughout your year 12 and 13 course. The course itself is linear, which means that you'll do all your year 12 work, then you'll do your year 13 and then you'll have your final exams. Okay? So your exams will take the format of three papers and each paper is two hours long. It'll be made up of short questions, longer questions and then an essay style question and you'll get a few of the essay style questions dotted around each paper. Okay, to join us in the psychology department we would like you to have grade fives in maths and in science, preferably biology because there is some biology although it is related to psychology so really like grade fives please. Once you have started or chosen to do psychology, it does go really well with a lot of different A-levels. And to be honest, it does offer a difference. So we have had students that have done physics and maths, or maths further maths and psychology. We've had students doing history, sociology, health and social care, English, geography. They all work well with psychology. So again, it's a sort of question essay based subject, so it mixes well with a variety of different subjects. So please don't feel that if you're doing the typical science route, you can't still do psychology along with it, or if you're doing maths, because it has worked really well for previous students. Talking about previous students, they have been very, very successful in psychology, and we have had students going on to Oxford Brookes, to Leeds University, Birmingham, Bristol, etc., to study psychology and psychology related courses. Um, things like uh, nursing, midwifery, psychology itself, paramedics, forensics, criminology have all been types of courses we've had students successfully apply and have gained places at top universities to do that. So it does offer a massively wide uh, scope to go on to study different um, degrees and other degrees include occupational health, physiotherapy, medicine, nursing, human resources, business studies, journalism, there is such a wide range because through psychology you are learning to communicate, to understand others and those are two really really important skills as you go through life. So hopefully that's given you a flavour if not, or if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch and I look forward to seeing you in September.